All right, All Saints Day, also known as All Hallows Day, the Feast of All Saints, the Feast of All Hallows, the solemn, solemnity, I mean, solemnity mm -hmm, of All Saints and the Hallowmas is a Christian solemnity celebrated in honor of all the saints of the church, whether they are known or unknown. I have no idea, but here you go. I think this is for the Catholics, right? Yeah, uh -huh. mostly. Most so, the please enjoy your day. <laughs> but it's so funny that they will call it a Hallow Day right after Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Yeah. When we were abroad, or when my kids were younger, not when we were abroad, because they're still abroad. When my kids were younger, the church used to organize something called the Hallelujah Night. Mm. So instead of our kids going out for trick-or-treating, we we'll bring them into church for, oh. and we'll create camps. You bring your duvets, we'll give you food, movies, and everything, just to keep them off the streets and away from the hmm. devil. This hal <laughs> <laughs> from the devil. It's Halloween though. I saw I saw some kind of costumes online. I see ah, these people they actually go all out. Oh, Did you see Didi's costume? Hmm. Didi. Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. His costume. He was hiding. She was, she was a worm. I don't know if it was intentional though. It was part of. It was part of it. Now she was supposed to crawl like a worm. Mm. Ew. <laughs> They take it too far. I'm not a I'm not a fan of Halloween. Please don't come for me. I'm not interested. Not. I can watch the movies, but it, that's where it ends. Well, children of God over here, please. <laughs> we don't do like Halloween. They. We do Hallelujah. We do Hallelujah, right? Amen. Okay. So All Saints Day. Congratulations to all our Catholic friends and brothers and sisters. All right. So um, who are we starting with? Start with me. The reason I said that is all the clips that are associated with my What's in the News, are uh, videos. And if I play them on my um, phone, it would interrupt the sound. But there's somebody who is known as Prophet Samuel King Ministries, who apparently came to double down on a prophecy he had given on the 7th of January related to David O and his kids and um, his family. Apparently then he had said something that David should be wary of 2022 that there are many opportunities and awards for him, but at the same time, he had specifically said at the time that he should be very careful about the safety of his son. And at the time, he only had a fine, not the other son. Mm. That he should be careful about the safety of his son and everything. Now, the reason why I took it, not so much to focus on the David, is the fact that people really don't believe prophecies because we have a lot of false prophets. We have too many people telling you things just to get uh, clickbait, mm. get money, and make it seem as if, and you know, as the Bible says, there'll be a lot of false prophets in the end times. But when things like this are confirmed, I mean, if we could pay attention to Nostradamus's predictions back then when we had the 9-11s and JFK killings and everything, we should pray for a spirit of discernment, is what I would say. Pray for a spirit of discernment because all of us have this connection to the Holy Spirit. And things are revealed in dreams, in visions, and in things that you think is a premonition or whatever. And you don't need a prophet to tell you. But please be sensitive in the spirit as a soul who's alive and well. That's where I'll leave it. Nice. Nicely wow. said. All right, so uh, let me come to you, Mary. Quickly, your story. Um, Clubbers passed to show solidarity with singer David Doe in Lagos. Yesterday at the Obi's house, uh, there was a pause to play his song and a moment of silence, which I think was very good, mm. you know. Um, if you listen to the wordings of the song, it was quite touching because it felt like it was, you know, related to this issue and stuff. So that's why. That's the one he did with the choir. Should we have that song played? Stand I think we have the video. It was Stan Strong. Mm. Oh, isn't it? Mm. I think the we have the, the video. Choir. Such a touching oh, yeah, I think mm. so. We have the video. If they can pull it out. Even though your body full of bite marks from all them canines oh, eh, eh, eh. Steady moving, I'm just living life And so many people in my business, so many joking eyes My face is easy at your face, man In the front of my head, steady chasing my paper Sipping my tail with no chase, my steps are got by Jehovah I'm for people looking up no pistol for Salona, and every show is a shot. Uh, uh, Cause I stand strong. Obi, you no go minus. Obi, you LME9 plus. Big fish flow like the ocean. No, I'm one stand strong. Let me be my back. Obi, you LME9 plus. 
even we can't really hear the lyrics of the song and i don't even know if i know it per se but i think it's the one about standing strong that he had sung with the choir yeah. and he had recorded in america and one thing about bereavement that i wanted to quickly mention before you take your news is you remember when pastor itwai godalo was going to conduct a service for a, a family that had lost a child mm -hmm. and heard the news that his wife had passed mm -hmm. And he still went ahead with the service and people were like why would he do that mm -hmm. and he said look i can't keep preaching to people seek comfort in god mm -hmm. and then i'm being tested and then i fall mm -hmm. wow okay so let me just quickly take my story mj I'm, I'm saving your story for last because all our stories are related to the video mm -hmm. um uh let me see if i can quickly pull out the young man that you know came out to say that um, the reason I'm taking the story, I think that his name is um, Model Afiz or so. Um, if they can quickly play that video. Cause, okay, so we don't have that video. Okay, so he was just saying that, um, was addressing Nigerians that every life, every Matters. child's life matter. It was unfair. You know, he, he, he considered it hypocrisy that, you know, because it's David's son, everybody is coming other people's children are dying on a Every daily day. basis that the same way you're showing love and support for the widow um and his family show love and support for every nigerian Who's that has lost a loved somebody. one that because if we do it that way then maybe perhaps we might see the change that we're looking for mm -hmm. and i thought that was a good message you know the only thing i had an issue with is relating it to it a death that just happened right mm. you know let's let's also understand that you it's know, still raw yeah, it's still fresh. Mm. What I, I, I would never do, you won't find me do things like this. I must know you personally for me to, to speak. For me to, so for me, I think it's hypocrisy if I have to post something that I don't have a personal relationship with the person. I must know you personally. I must have a relationship with you. And most times, even before I send you a happy birthday on social media, mm. I must I have sent, sent you, you a message privately, WhatsApp mm -hmm. and all of that, before I even post it on my status. So I, I, I need people to start separating things because social media has given us an opportunity to just yes, showcase to the world. At the same time, it is also, um, it's also somehow insensitive for, for, for somebody, somebody to speak into you know, your just, life when they don't you have just right do things to. And you don't have a personal relationship with the person. I don't think it's... Some things are private, right? But some true. things are personal. Piggy bank on what you said. It doesn't matter. Buju posted relating to his death, this little boy's death. And someone said, the boy had a birthday 11 days ago. You didn't, you didn't post. You didn't say happy birthday. But now you want to jump on this bandwagon of everything yes, that's going on. Because everybody this is what everybody it. tends to do. When people don't celebrate someone's birthday and then, God they forbid, they pass. Them. And they mention it. I personally send a message and say, an attack well, you didn't say, I attack. Hmm. So let's hold that thought because yes, we are coming back <laughs> to the conversation. NJ, quickly take your story. Well, my story is of an incident that happened at the uh, Seoul in uh, South Korea on Saturday during the Halloween. It was a Halloween crowd surge mm -hmm. where at least 150 people were killed and another 150 were injured. And this was because there was a large gathering on the major di uh, nightlife district in South Korea. Mm -hmm. And I saw the video, I don't know if we're going to show that video, but you see the video and this was just a, you know, a bystander. and. The story goes how, you know, from a less crowded street to a fully crowded street to, you know, people having panic attacks and people mm -hmm. getting crushed and people get it. It's amazing how a celebration could turn so horrific within a short time, period of time. Mm -hmm. period of time. This was about 4 a.m. and even the district uh, commander at the time couldn't his major at the time when this was being reported he couldn't the priority at the time was even just identifying the people who had been you mm. know involved in this incident and trying to i we've heard stories of um i think the the few americans some australian lady a few names have been released and you know mourning has been going on mm. so really it's a trying time it's halloween years but a lot of lives have been lost in the last couple of days in the last 24 yeah. hours it mm. has been crazy in the last weekend it has been crazy mm -hmm. but you know with this like you said 
it also brings to light the fact that we're all humans and we all suffer loss. So mm -hmm. it's a time when people should be to sympathize and should be Absolutely. very watchful sensitive. of what they what sensitive, they say. what mm -hmm. they say and how they act in certain you know a rapper was also killed. Um, yeah. yeah. You heard that news. Yes, um take off. That's yes. the name. Arguing over shot. a dice game. They were shot in um yes. what country um, state is that now in, in the US? California. No, no, it wasn't California. I, I, I just saw the report. Last night as well, wasn't it? Was it last night or two? I yeah. think it was, yeah. last, think it was last, last night. night. Yeah. yeah. Even in this South Korea, there was actually an actor, a famous actor. I think it was like 23. So, I mean, there's a lot of laws that has happened. Know, so, we yes. need to just, you know, um, it's a sober period. Our heart goes out to everyone that has lost, you know, a loved one. It's not... So I don't know how to explain it because, again, I'm not really... You know, I keep saying to people that until you step into the shoes, right? Mm -hmm. I, I can imagine the number of things that is going through the minds of the people that have lost their loved ones, right? But that's a conversation we're having. Um, but we'll do all of that right after the break. Stay with us.